Hi there, my name's Stephen Moss, I'm an author and a naturalist and I live here in Somerset. And this is the first of a series of short video casts I'll be making to try to help you identify some of the birds you're hearing in your garden at the moment. Now there aren't many silver linings to this terrible crisis, but one is that birdsong is much easier to hear than usual. There are far fewer planes and there's far less traffic and that's really helping. So what I'm going to be doing is taking a couple of birds each time and playing their song and just getting you to work out which one is making which song and hopefully you can do the same in your own garden. Now my old friend Bill Oddy used to tell me that there were three things you needed to know when you listen to bird song. Rhythm, pitch and tone. So rhythm, is it syncopated, dee 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 dee, or is it perhaps more regular? Is it going up or down the scale? Pitch, is it high or medium or low pitch? And then tone, does it sound slightly cross or perhaps slightly sad or plaintive or even happy? All birds have their own tones. The other thing he taught me was mnemonics and Pied Wagtail is a classic when it flies over it calls Chiswick. So Bill used to call it the Chiswick flyover. So here are two birds that you might be hearing at the moment either if you have a garden or in your local park on your exercise walk. The first one's Great Tit. This is very syncopated and jaunty, mid-pitch. Sounds a little bit like teacher, teacher, teacher. And so some people call it the teacher bird. The next bird doesn't really need a mnemonic because it literally sings its own name and it's called the Chiff Chaff. Again, two notes. Chiff, chiff, chaff, chiff, chaff, chiff, chaff. So that one is really quite easy. So the both of them have very similar two note calls, but they sound completely different when you're actually thinking about the rhythm, pitch, and especially the tone. So I hope you've enjoyed that and you found it useful.